Hey folks, everything new under the sun. I want to talk to you today about uh, Miati Life PO4 or lithium iron phosphate batteries. Now, I thought I would do a, a bit of a kind of a half review on this battery. Um, I thought it was significant. This is one of the things I'm, I'm uh, putting together, uh, purchasing for my kind of off-grid um, solar, uh, you know, renewable energy uh, battery system. And I, I found this one. Uh, there was uh, 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 um, some batteries that I was looking at that uh, came from uh, China and uh, because of the whole situation, um, you know, it wasn't getting shipped. So I was looking for a North American uh, resource and I came across this particular one. Um, now, uh, this is, so a life PO4, lithium iron phosphate, so kind of the best um, uh, chemical mix, or whatever uh, type of battery that you can get in terms of uh, life and cycles. So this is a 2000 cycle plus battery. Now this one is a low discharge one. We're going to go over the specs in a second. Um, it turns out that uh, this is currently unavailable because I literally, uh, I purchased um, five of them. Uh, so I purchased all the remaining stock, apparently in North America, uh, for these batteries. You know, it's, uh, strange. Uh, maybe it's on Amazon.com or something. I haven't looked, but I was on Amazon.ca. Um, so I want to show you what this looks like now. And so you look at the battery, and uh, here is the actual physical size uh, of the battery. It's very small. It's a six amp hour. Uh, but what what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, hook this up in parallel. And uh, and basically make a, a 30 amp hour uh, a battery, uh, five batteries times six amp hours, uh, 30 amp hours in in parallel. So and it is a low discharge battery. It's got F2 connectors on it, um, kind of like the connectors, kind of like the connectors in your um, battery backup UPS system for your computer. Um, but uh, in parallel. Um, it will allow for a draw, max current draw of about 30 amps uh, continuous as well. It, it will do six amp continuous per battery. So in parallel, um, you can you should be able to take 30 amps. And as long as you have a lead acid, I'm gonna I'm actually gonna pair this with a lead uh, um, a lead acid AGM uh, battery. And uh, so the the lead big lead acid uh, 90 amp hour battery uh, will be able to maintain the higher amperage draw for my per, uh, particular use which is a 1200 watt inverter and, and a camper, uh, an off-grid camper. Um, but these uh, will provide uh, some backup so we can uh, drain these first. And because these always sit at a high, um, at a high voltage, um, they, they stay at you know 12.8 for a long time. And then finally at the end of their uh, amp hour rating, they then drop. So um, all the energy gets pulled from these as much as possible first. And the overflow comes from um, the AGM battery. And so these get cycled before the AGM battery, which is kind of perfect in the way that it works. And I've seen some uh, reviews on it uh, where people have done that exact thing. And they find that um, it draws from these first. And uh, once these are done, then it starts drawing from the uh, AGM. And then when you start charging it, these actually start charging up first. And then the uh, rest of the power goes to the AGM. So it's kind of a perfect setup in terms of how these work. And as long as you've got these in parallel, you can draw a fair bit. Now they only want to draw uh, 1.2 amps. We're going to take a look at it. So 2,000 cycle. Uh, after 2,000 cycles, um, it, it, you get, there's only about 70% capacity left, which is still very usable. I mean, you, you can use that. This is going to be usable for years and years and years, especially in a parallel configuration, where you're really uh, um, spreading out the draw of the battery um, across uh, several of them. Uh, six times. Uh, you replace an AGM six times before you will have to replace this according to the specs. Uh, so this is a 12.8 volt um, kind of plug-in replacement for any uh, uh, 12 volt battery. Uh, it does have the F2 terminals. So I've got a box or, or a bag of got a, a bag of F2 terminals and connectors. Uh, there you can see there for uh, fairly cheap, I think $10 off Amazon or something. So I'm going to use those to connect this uh, up. And again, uh, the amperage per uh, per battery isn't too much, you know, max six amps. So you don't need a massive wire going to each one of them. This is uh, this uh, has an 18 month hassle free warranty. So that's not bad. If it comes DOA, um, then uh, you can uh, return it. I did check the voltage 
and it is indeed 12.8, so as long as all five have 12.8, uh, we're good. Uh, now, there were some reviews that I wanted to read here, and we're going to take a look at those because those I'm not going to be doing a capacity a test myself, uh, but I wanted to um, kind of showcase this because I think it's a great alternative for you uh, who are looking for an easier way to get into um, lithium iron phosphate uh, batteries uh, because this is only you know 78 bucks uh, a piece, and so you can get you can get one, and a couple months later when you have some more money, you can get another one and uh, kind of pack stack them up in parallel. And because they're uh, such uh, long life batteries, uh, it doesn't matter if you get one a couple months, 12 months, uh, uh, two years down the road, um, I, I, you can safely uh, parallel these and uh, still have them work together, unlike lead acid. So the life cycle of these is uh, greater than 2000. Um, and that's at a 0.2 uh, C rating. So the C rating is um, uh, the amp hour. So uh, 0.2 of the 6 amp hour rating. So you don't want to pull 6 amps all the time. But if you're only pulling 0.2 uh, of that 6 amps, uh, which is 1.2 amps, um, then uh, you get your uh, greater than 2,000 life cycles out of it. And that's what it says here. Max, uh, let's see. Uh, charge voltage is 14.6. So you can hook it up to your solar charge controller very, very easily, and it just works. So I'm going to hook this up to uh, my solar uh, charge controller. And <clears throat> let me move this up here. Uh, so, so you can, it's, you know, it's plug and play with other lead acid, which is perfect. Um, charge current is 1.2, so your solar charge controller can handle that. I've got, I've got about 600 watts of solar uh, on my uh, system or available to my system. Max charge current, 3 amps. So they're all going to be, uh, again, in parallel, um, they're all going to be uh, making use of the uh, solar power coming in. Discharge current they want is 1.2 to really maximize the life. But you can do a max continuous draw of 6 amps uh, from these batteries. So uh, using a big inverter for a couple of seconds, you know, and, and if you've got 5 of these paralleled, um, then you've got 30 amps uh, of uh, usable you know, amperage out of these, and then paralleled with an AGM, of course the AGM is going to pick up the slack and provide the rest of the amperage uh, quite easily. It will max pulse to 20 amps for less than 3 seconds. Now, uh, the discharge uh, is uh, 10 volts. These do have BMSs on top, not that you can see it, but uh, there are, there's a BMS kind of up, up here, and that's going to manage uh, and keep the battery safe, so that's good. Uh, it's going to cut itself off at 10 volts, so you know you're not going to absolutely wreck these things, which is a nice feature of the newer technology of these batteries. One thing to note is that these aren't good uh, below zero degrees. You notice you can't charge them uh, below zero degrees. Zero degrees to 45 degrees Celsius is where you can charge them. So for Canadian winter, which is where I am, uh, these are not good to be left out. But I have another plan, and I'm going to show you that plan um, uh, for how I'm going to actually use these. Uh, you can discharge them um, at minus 20 temperatures if you absolutely had to, but you can't then charge them up again. So something to note. F2 type terminal, um, that's fine. Um, there were some uh, reviews here and some good reviews. Um, this particular one... <clears throat> so this particular one I think you can use as part of the review of this video, and I'll, I'll, I'll thank Tech Guy for this. But he did a discharge test. Uh, it's rated at 6 amps, he says. My first charge discharge cycle, he did at 1.2 amps uh, for 5 hours, and he measured 5,993 uh, 5, uh, milliamp hours. So that's very, very close to, obviously, the 6 amp hour rating of the battery. Uh, so this particular guy's test, uh, uh, you know, uh, confirmed that these are good. As long as you don't have a DOA battery, um, then these are, uh, you know, the, f the full 6 amp hour batteries. And the, the ratings are pretty good, uh, except where people uh, misused them or got a DOA battery and apparently the company was good uh, to replace them. So what I want to show you now is my use case for this and how I'm actually um, going to uh, make use of this. So let me go ahead and I will expand... Uh, this window and uh, just to show you a bit of how I'm going to use it. So I've got this and let me turn a light on here. Here we go. I think that maybe lights up a little bit if that stays. So I've got this Makita 
uh, Makita toolbox, and I've converted it to be uh, a power station, a power box, just like the uh, DeWalt power box. And I actually uh, uh, built this uh, to be able to run off 18 volt Makita batteries. So I've got Makita batteries, and I can plug. Uh, I orig originally I was going to set this up to uh, run off three. I haven't wired it up yet, but it's currently configured to uh, run off two Makita batteries. And I'll show you the inside. Not that not that you can see it, but it's kind of. I've got a, a regulator on the uh, right above the microphone there, and that converts the 18 uh, volts down to I think it ha I have it tuned to 13 usable. Um, so I, I purchased these uh, USB uh, connectors. I kind of hacked the back out of them. I know you can't see this. You can get these on eBay, and they just slide over the top. Kind of hard for me to to do this. Uh, in this confined space, but it slides over the top and put it in like this and all of a sudden this comes on not that you can see it you can see it powers it up and you can see that I have 13.3 volts um, I think you can see that 13.3 volts at the outlet so I've got I have got my uh, 12 volt socket I have got a couple of USBs I also have a 12-volt uh, socket flashlight in here, which I can then plug in and, for emergency purposes. So this is my kind of battery uh, backup system. I also have at the bottom a couple of big lugs so that I can uh, plug these into another system. Uh, kind of kind of can't see that, but I can plug it into another system, i.e. parallel it with my AGMs. So what I intend to do is I intend to also wire it up. Uh, for use with these. So I'm going to stick a whole bunch of these, five of them, into uh, my box. And once five of them are in here, uh, then I will have 30 amp hours of the, my battery backup box. And I will also then be able to uh, plug it in via these big lugs, make sure I have uh, 30 amp uh, capable wires going to them, and then plug this in parallel with my AGM battery, and then I will have uh, a very versatile uh, off-grid uh, system uh, for for camper usage, uh, for uh, emergency power usage. So technically, I, I could very well um, have uh, Makita batteries in here. Uh, these are four amp hour batteries each, um, and uh, my set of uh, Miata uh, batteries, uh, 30 amp hours in total, five batteries, and I'll, I'll stick them in here, secure them, and uh, effectively, I'll have 38 amp hours of um, 12 volt power here that I can tune up or down. I can tune uh, the regulator here. The uh, uh, what's it called? The it it drops the voltage from 18 down to uh, 13. I can further dial that down to match uh, the voltage of the Miati, which is 12.8, and that way they match and they're not fighting each other. Um, I haven't tried that yet. It's something to try. I also have a charger here, uh, which I haven't wired up, uh, which will. Uh, which could possibly charge the 18 volt batteries uh, in a pinch if I had to. So that uh, is how I intend to use these Miati batteries and I'm going to use them in parallel and put them in my off-grid system and I think it's going to work very well for 30 amp hours of uh, lithium iron phosphate batteries which is the big deal these days because of the number of cycles um, that you get out of out of those batteries. Um, they're going to last um, uh, Possibly, literally, uh, you know, uh, for the rest of my life, as, as long as I need them, unless I were to really cycle them hard, and I don't expect to, for emergency purposes only, I've got a full 30 amp hours that I can uh, make a use of uh, in these batteries uh, at a fairly, fairly cheap and easy uh, entry level uh, to get into them, you know, uh, buy one battery at a time, build them up over time, uh, and work them into your parallel battery system. So that was just a, a quick review and, and look at uh, the Miati battery. And uh, of course, you can't buy anymore because I literally uh, bought them all off Amazon.ca. Again, maybe they're on Amazon.com. Um, but uh, so far, uh, the reviews are good and uh, the voltage looks good. The size and the weight factor, it's legit. And it ships from, or at least it did ship from the US. They probably, I'm, these do come in, these are made in China. Uh, but I, I, I bought up the. Uh, the North American uh, stockpile of these apparently. These are each 78 watt hour, 76.8 watt hours uh, each. Uh, so if you want to know the watt hour uh, uh, energy potential, 
uh, of these. So, uh, anyways, uh, guys, I want to show you that. I do a bit of a review because I hadn't seen a review uh, done on these, and uh, just give you an idea of how I'm actually going to use these. So, uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.